Cupcake? Don't worry, they'll be ready soon. Strawberry! Hey, a strawberry! Whoa! It's not gonna be easy harvesting all these berries. Just look at all of them! I sure hope the purple pie man doesn't find out it's harvest time. Yeah, you know he'd love to get his greedy hands on a crop like this. Yeah, and his sister's sour grapes. I hope wherever they are, they're far from here. <laughs> Remember last time they were here, huh? Do ya? That mean old nasty old sour grapes is so totally completely allergic to the berry blossoms. Yeah, she sneezed her way out of strawberry land. I just have to take care of a few things. And I'm done. We'll help, Strawberry. Sure. We'll get it done faster if we work together. And I brought some music. That'll help us work even faster. Just tell us what to do. Well, pick up the vine, nice and neat. Tie it to a stick and tap your feet. Add a little water, give a little spin, find another vine, and do it all again. What are they doing? What? What are they doing? They're dancing. They should be taking care of those crops. How much longer are we going to be here anyway? As soon as the harvest is ready, we'll haul the berries back to the boat and sail for home. And how long will that take? If you work hard, we'll have it done in no time. Don't I always work hard, Pie Man? <laughs> And do you ever appreciate it? Do you ever say, ooh, I couldn't do these things without you, sour grapes? My, you're such wonderful help, sour grapes. Come on, we're going. When was the last time you said, thank you, sour grapes? Fine. If it'll make you happy, I'll say it. After we're done taking those berries. Fine, then. Isn't it positively perfect? What wonderful pies they'll make! Get that thing yet away from me! I don't want what to touch it! They won't even know I'm stealing them. They'll be too distracted. By what? That'll be up to you. Me? Strawberry Shortcake, where do you get the energy? Hey, sometimes I can't help it. My feet just have to dance. See you tomorrow. Bye. See ya. Tomorrow. Yeah, we'll see you tomorrow, right? Sometimes she can't help it, huh? Just has to dance. There could be something in this. Have you come up with a plan yet? Dance. I will open a achoo, dance studio and keep the little darlings achoo, busy while you rob the fields. 
sometimes, or have to dance. They'd recognize you immediately. Not if I wore a disguise. I'll teach them a dance so hard, they'll never learn it. Hmm, what's this, huh, Chocolate Chipmunk? What do you think? Well, well, this sounds interesting. I've never tried anything like this before. This sounds very fun! What is it? Madame Rita Rutabaga announces the grand opening of her new dance studio. Learn the Rutabaga Boogie. I wonder what it'll be like. Have you ever done this before? No, have you? Can't say that I have, but I think it'll be a whole lot of fun. Yes, sirree. I am Madame Rita Rutabaga. And if you do as I say and try very hard, I will teach you to dance the Rutabaga Boogie. Just look at these berries. Finally, ripe for the picking. I hardly know where to start. Hey, mister. Yikes! Hey, do I um, know you from somewhere? Perhaps. I am the agriculture inspector inspecting for berry blight. And you are... Huckleberry Pie. I'm looking for my friend Strawberry Shortcake. Yes, of course. She's expecting you at the studio. Told me to give you the message. Better hurry. Whoa, hold on. What studio? The new dance studio. <laughs> oh, no, not me. No, sir. You got the wrong guy. I do not dance. That's too bad. Being a good dancer brings great success later in life. Everyone loves a good dancer. Surely you must know that. No, I didn't know that. Well, hurry along. Should still be time to make the class. Keep those toes pointed forward. There you go. Eyes straight ahead, darling. Focus on the feet, not on... <laughs> Huckleberry Pie. Ah, another student. Come, come, the class has only started. Ah you! Hmm... New eating strawberries? Ah, In class. Now come, darling. I, but I, I mean, I, but I. <laughs> the Rutabaga Boogie <laughs> is the most difficult <laughs> and most beautiful dance in the world. You will have to do exactly as I say. You will have to try and try and then try again and then try some more. Form a line, darlings. You stand here, you there, you here, 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 and here. Now, on your toes! This whole charade is yeah, too stressful for me. I'm glad it will be over soon. Soon? I'll need a week to clear out those fields. You have to keep those pesky kids busy. For a week? <laughs> The legs higher, higher! Ooh. Whoa. Ah. Ah. Man, I'm never gonna get it. Me neither. This is just absolutely, completely impossible. I give up. All right, darlings. You are tired. I understand. Let's take a break then. Oh. Guess we kind of let her down again, huh? Yeah, and it was my fault. I'm really, really sorry. It's okay, Ginger Snap. It takes time. But we'll get it. If we keep trying. I don't know about that, Strawberry. Come on, Huckleberry. Give it one more try. You'll see. You really think so? I'm very sure of it. Giving it all you got, doing the best you can. Keeping the rhythm hot, because you've got a plan. And that's to work it every day, cause working at it proves there is only just one way to get the moves. Gotta get the moves, gotta get 
control. Gotta feel the beat in your very soul. Gotta get the moves. Gotta do it right. Gotta not give up all for one. Unite. How to control your feet when all of the steps are new. Looking to find the beat is sometimes hard to do. For going up's a lot like dance. Cause even if you fall, just take another chance and you'll stand tall. Gotta get the moves, gotta get control. Gotta feel the beat in your very soul. Gotta get the moves, gotta try your best. Gotta not give up, gotta pass the test. And sometimes it's you, we'll miss a step. Let's say forget it. But if we don't, it's hard, you know the fun will start. If we just let it, and we'll get the moves. making progress, but it isn't easy. Tomorrow, I want you to make sure they're busy. Then come out to the field to help me, all right? Mm -hmm. All right. <gasps> Darlings, since you've been trying so hard, I have decided we shall have a dance recital. Day after tomorrow, you can invite your friends to come see all you've learned. That'll be fun! Hooray! All right! We did all it! All right! I can't oh, wait! Boy. Yes! I'm so very proud of you all, my <laughs> darling. Uh, you were... Uh, or Pie Man! Uh, uh, <clears throat> first, there's something I have to take care of. Continue your practice. What took you so long? We have work to do. Do it yourself. Those kids have been working very hard, and I am not going to disappoint them. You have no choice, no choice, no choice! You have to help me steal these berries! I won't, I won't do that to them. I wonder how they'll feel when they find out who you really are. <gasps> You mustn't. They mustn't ever know. Ah, but they will know. And they'll know how you've been lying to them. I'll tell them myself. Unless you help me. Oh, it's you, Strawberry Shortcake. How can I help you? We want to ask if we could get in some practice before the lesson. We want to get that dance right. We hope you'll stick with us, Madame Rutabaga, because we know we'll get the moves. Of course, darlings. Come in. Here, I baked this for you. Oh, how very sweet. It's strawberry upside down cake. A straw. Ah! Achoo! She's allergic to strawberries? <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, of course. That's it! You're a bird in flight, a breeze in the trees. Oh, sour grapes. Ah, turning soft hearted. Breeze in hot trees. What are you squawking about? <coughs> she what? But I warned her. She's supposed to be helping me. <coughs> Psst, over here. Go on. Very good. You're all dancing splendidly. What do you think you're doing? You're supposed to be out in the field helping me. I've made up my mind, Pie Man. I am not going through with it. These kids have been trying so hard. I'm not going to let them down. Then I'll do it for you. Oh, 
please don't. I'm going to tell them what kind of person you really are. All right. Give me a minute. I'll be there. If you're not in the field in five minutes, I'll be back. What happened to the music? What's wrong? Why are we stopping, huh? What you doing? Huh? Darlings, there's something I have to tell you. I am not who you think I am. I am not Rita Rutabaga. Ah, uh, come on. <laughs> You're kidding. Huh? You're sour grapes. That's right. <gasps> what? Pie Man had a plan to steal your berries while you were in here dancing with me. I'm no teacher. I'm a fraud. And I'm so sorry. I knew it. Wait a minute. Actually, you are a teacher, Miss Grapes, and a very good one. You taught us all to dance. It wasn't easy, but you did it. But it was all a trick, so we could rob you. Maybe we can do something about that with your help. Ah! Shoo! There you are, finally. Come on, I need help here. Help me get this wagon loaded. All right, everyone, let's go. Remember, we gotta get all the moves right this time. This is taking too long. I'll put them in the wagon while you finish. Yes, I was just going to suggest that. Here you go, kid. Thanks. How are we ever going to get the rest of these? We can do it if we really try. Now, we need to put something in when we take the berries out. Look over there. Perfect. There, the last final berry. I'll take care of it. And I thought you said you never touch them. We can do many things if we try. Take it fast. Achoo! Thanks very much. Come on, we have to get these back to the boat. Yeah. Thing I forgot. One thing I have to do before we leave. What are you talking about? You couldn't wait to get out of here. I'll meet you at the boat. Oh boy! <laughs> this should be great. <laughs> Let's <Man. make> <laughs> Look, everyone, I think we got here just in time.
you really have to go, Ms. Grapes? Yes, I'm afraid so. It won't be long before the pie man finds the... Sunflowers! I can't make pies with sunflowers! I, um, may need to calm you-know-who down. Well, thank you very much for all you did. No, thank you. For a moment, I was a bird in flight, a breeze in the trees, and it made me very happy. Where are my berries? <sighs> Time to go. Goodbye, darlings. Goodbye. On the count of three. One, two, two and a half. Three! <laughs> <laughs> Wee! <Whee>! Yahoo! <laughs> Yahoo! <laughs> uh. This has to be my most very favorite time of the year. Yep, it's that time when fall feels like summer. The last warm days before it gets chilly. The last warm days. We should do something special. A final fun fling before it gets cold. Yeah! Great idea! A super! Let's, let's do it! Like what? Like... Um, well, I don't know. But I'll think of something. Okay, Custard. How about this? We ride a graham cracker raft down the Fudge River. Bad idea for two reasons. One, the raft would get soggy. And two, I can't swim. You could wear a marshmallow life jacket. Nah, I'd look like a s'more. Picnic? Did that. Garden party? Did that twice. Sack race? Had three. <sighs> We've already done all the fun summery stuff. What's left? Mm -hmm. uh -huh! He says, what about chasing squirrels? I think that's more of a dog thing, Pupcake. <coughs> you could have a sleepover. Everybody slept over at everybody's house four times. There's no more houses to sleep over in. And it's not like you could sleep outside. <coughs> well, you could, but that would be horrible. Say that again, Custard. What did I say? You said we could have a very special overnight outside camp out. What? Who said that? I didn't say that. First, I have to make some very special invitations. Aww. Um, strawberry? Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's slow down. Who wants to sleep outside? Couldn't you make it somewhere warm and dry? Like somewhere inside? It'll be fun. You'll see. Having a camp out. I just can't wait. Come to your camp out. Me go camping too. Looks like everybody's gonna be going. Hold on, 
We still haven't heard from Ginger Snap. An invitation? No, didn't get one of those. <laughs> Are you having a party? A nice middle of the day party, hmm? I don't understand why you didn't get the invitation. Tell you what, I'll send you another one. Oh, um, no, no, you don't have to do that. Really? <laughs> Ginger, did you get it this time? Hmm? Oh, no, not a thing in my mailbox. This doesn't make any sense. I don't understand what is happening to the invitations. Why don't you just ask her? Or just hand her the invitation? It's too special for that. Just checking. Hello? Did you get this one? Uh, er, um, no, nope, no. Can't say that, cause I didn't. But hey, that's okay, these things happen. Guess it just wasn't meant to be, huh? Hello? You gotta get that mailbox fixed. Ouch! My invitations! Hey, how'd those get there? Doesn't matter, here you go. A camp out overnight? I'd love to come. See you tomorrow. It'll be great. Yeah, great. Just great. Oh no, it's almost dark. Phew. That'll keep away the creepy crawly night monsters. I can't go on that camp out because I'll know I'm scared of the dark. So I'm just going to have to find some way to get out of it. Everybody ready? I'm ready. Ready. I was ready yesterday. If everybody's ready, let's get this show on the road. Whoa. 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 Uh, guess I'm not quite ready. Hey, where's Ginger Snap? Ginger Snap, are you in here? Where's Ginger Snap chocolate? <clears throat> what are you doing, Ginger Snap? Just looking for my my warm socks. Can't go camping without warm socks. Guess I should have chucked my sock drawer, huh? Well, let's get. Whoa, hold on. Feeling kind of oozy woozy all of a sudden. What's the matter? Must be some kind of all of a sudden oozy woozy flu. <laughs> 98 point normal. That's good. Yeah, it's great. Ginger Snap, is it maybe something else? No, why do you say that? I thought maybe you don't want to go camping. Well, sure I do. Why wouldn't I? Hey, what's going on in there? Let's get this show on the road! You go on. I'll be right there. If I gotta go, I'm gonna be prepared. You can never have enough flashlights. Do you think we'll see any wild and woolly animals tonight? We just might. Maybe we'll see some real live, creepy, crawly night monsters. I hope there's no moon, so it'll be good and dark and scary. Ha, huh. me no scale. How's it going, Ginger Snap? Wonderful, couldn't be better.
place is perfect. I love it here. Uh, uh, guess I should have brought the instructions. Not bad, Apple Dumplin. We do good. <laughs> there. Just... Oh, oh, oh. oh no! Perfect. Yeah! Get off, get off! Popcake! Hey, Ginger Snap? It's going to be night soon. Yep. We better get a fire going. And light the candles and turn on all the lanterns and flashlights before it gets... Dark? Yeah. I'll <laughs> never get this crummy tent up. Are you afraid of the dark? You don't have to tell everybody. Ginger Snap, I'm very sorry I made you come along. We can go back. Then they'll all know I'm scared. Now that I'm here, I've got to stay. I'll be okay. I've got my flashlights. We'll have a great time. Don't worry, Ginger. We'll keep the fire going all night. Hey, I got an idea. Let's tell spooky stories about crawling night monsters. Or we could tell some not-so-spooky stories. Nah! nah. Come on, let's give ourselves a good old itty bitty scare. <laughs> an itty bitty scare, an itty bitty scare. That fright in the night when there's nothing really there. There's fun in the sun, but it never can compare to a spooky, spooky itty bitty scare. Gather round the campfire, look at the smoke. I think that's a ghost, and this isn't a joke. No way. It's a witch! It's a pumpkin! It's a head! It's time I ran back home and got in bed! An itchy bitchy scare, an itchy bitchy fright The love in your throat at the bum in the night There's nothing to fear, just stay near me, you'll be well Of oh, the eerie, weary, spooky, oogie, itty bitty scare Maybe if you're lucky, a cute ghost or two Will sneak up behind you and suddenly go boom! Or a beast in the woods crawling closer, creak, 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 creak. in the dark. There we go. Where's Ginger Snap? In her tent, I guess. Ginger Snap, the fire's going. 
She's gone. Huh? She's out there somewhere, all by herself. Don't worry, Strawberry. We'll find her. Piece of cake. What? Leave it to me, the pie guy. Lights, lights, those flashlights have to be here somewhere. Is somebody there? Hello? Ah! Ow! I think we lost the trail. It sure is dark out here. Uh-huh. Kinda creepy. Kinda crawly. Kinda scary. Yeah, very. You said it. Sure is. I shouldn't have come out here. I shouldn't have left the others. Shouldn't have come. Shouldn't have left. Frightened by the dark, haunted by the night. Just the thought of evening makes my tummy not feel right. Wish I knew how come I came to be. No more the shaky, quaky, scary little me. Fearful of the trees, shrinking from the moon. Startled at my shadow, even scared to sing this tune. There's no greater shame, I guarantee, than being flinchy, skitchy, scaredy little me. Oh, why can't I? Would ever make friends willingly with such a lily livered, scary little me? If only I could be more like them and less like scary little me. Who's there? <coughs> That's right, who? <coughs> Sounds like they're running away. Well, what do you know? Maybe those creeping, crawling night monsters are as scared of me as I am of them. I hate to think of poor Ginger Snap out there alone in the dark. I'll bet she's awful scared. I know just how she feels. Who's in there? Yikes! Oh, my. <laughs> Wait, don't go. I won't hurt you. <laughs> Why, you're not creepy or crawly night monsters. Not at all. I'm Ginger Snap. Nice to meet you. You haven't seen any flashlights lying around, have you? <laughs> Can you show me where? Where is everybody? Oh, they must have gone looking for me. What? What, Dad? I... I don't know. Whatever it was, it sounded big. And close. Ah! Sounds like them. Why'd we ever come out here in the middle of the night? With all these night monsters. Whose idea was this camp out anyway? Arroo! Was not. It was Strawberry's idea. It's a creepy, crawly night! Monster! Ah! Wait, maybe there's nothing to be afraid of. What about that? Well, Lulu, let's check it out. See, there's nothing scary there. How embarrassing. We were scared of a tree? <laughs> <laughs> Monsters are my friends. They help me find you, and they help me see. Even though the forest can be a spooky place at night, once you know what you're afraid of, sometimes it's not so scary. You just gotta take a good look at what's scaring you. They're cute little fellas. Oh, oh. Feels like fall is finally here. Maybe we ought to get back to camp and warm up. 
Thanks, Ginger Snap, and your friends, too. Thanks for everything. Hey, it was a snap, right, guys? <laughs> <laughs> Mmm, red, ripe, and ready to pick. Huh? Whoa! Whoa! I'll thank you not to steal my strawberries. Find your own, will you? if you keep eating them. Try the beginning. She, uh, uh, and then, plus, mm, on top of that, and the worst part, she's been robbed! <gasps> you know how she gathers sea berries at Seabury Shore to make sea berry treats for you and all her friends? Oh, I certainly do. And you also know she's all alone! Just her and me and two dozen monkeys and nobody else for miles and miles! Only there is, but there isn't! Say what I mean! Well, not exactly. Not precisely. Not at all. Somebody stealing the sea berries! We need your help, Strawberry! Of course I'll help! Friends help friends! Coco Calypso needs help. Count me in, matey. The good ship Rainbow Float is at your service. And I love a good mystery. Can I come too? Sure. You know what they say. What's that? Mystery loves company. See, it's simple. As long as we keep heading ahead, we can't get lost. Land the hole! We're here! We're home! We're home sweet home! I'll go get Coco Calypso! Time to drop anchor! Give me a hand, mateys! Whoa! Uh, this is uh, heavy! It has to be to keep the houseboat from drifting away. Hi, everybody! Calypso! I want you to meet my friends, Rainbow Sherbert and Blueberry Muffin. They've come to help. Oh, thank you. Come on with me and I'll tell you everything that happened. It all started a few weeks ago, when I went out on the rocky point to gather sea berries, like I do most every day. Nothing seemed wrong. After I finished, it was time for some supper, then off to bed. <sighs> In the morning, when I went to bake some sea berry treats for you, <gasps> the berries were gone! A trail of them led to the lagoon and disappeared. Someone or something had stolen all of my sea berries. And every night since, the same things happened. That's why I haven't sent you any sea berry treats for weeks and weeks. Well, it's not going to happen again. If we can help it. Here's what I gathered today. They look lovely. Try one. Mmm, yum. Delicious. I never tasted anything like them. Because there isn't anything like them. They only grow in the waters off Seabury Beach. We'll make sure nothing happens to them, even if we have to sit up all night. Right, girls? You got it. You can count on us. 
there. Now all we have to do is sit behind these palms and wait for whatever we're waiting for. I don't know how to thank you for this. I sure hope we solve this mystery soon. <gasps> you can count sheep on it. I mean, sleep on it. I mean, you can count on it. So long as we <gasps> don't fall. So tired. again. And no one will come see me. Not with some creature in the lagoon. Don't give up hope, Coco. We don't even know what kind of creature this creature is. Could be a put her there, glad to see you, not so very scary sort of sea creature. We're just going to have to find out. Which means getting it to come back again. Which means... More, More sea berries! Sea berries. Ready, set, heave ho! Now we pull the net in very slowly and evenly. Don't jerk it or we'll lose the berries. How very beautiful they are. Tonight we'll take turns staying awake and keeping watch. Ah, dinner time! Coconut juice and taro root crackers. Aren't you going to join us, Coco? Can't. Got a big surprise to share with you all. We're on, guys. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Hit it, boys. This sweet on the sea, very sure it's paradise. Who could ask for more? I got sugar white sand in a home by the sea. There's only my monkeys, my parrot, and me. I can make my butt however I choose. Play in the sun, take in the views. Like the moon on the water, the stars up above. The sea, very sure is the home that I love. With all that I've got, with all that I've found, it's okay by me if there's no one around. With all Beach all to yourself. Oh, yeah, you bet. It's great. 
I just loved your concert. It was the best. Thanks. Thanks. And thank you. I'm happy to play for friends like you any old time. In fact, how about another concert tomorrow? Sure. Great. We'd love it. And the tomorrow after that, and the one after that one, and the next one, too, if you want. That's very nice of you, Coco. Hey, you can all move in with me if you want to. I'll take the first watch so the rest of you can sleep. Strawberry? Does Coco seem kind of, well, lonely to you? <sighs> yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Rise and shine, Rainbow Sherbert. Uh, aye, aye, Captain. I'm so tired I could fall asleep just sitting here. I know just how you feel. and shine. Uh, oh, no! It happened again! And there's another trail of berries. It's almost like this thing wants to be caught. Maybe it does want to be. Maybe we ought to take my boat out in the lagoon and look around. I don't see anything. Nothing except those dark clouds on the horizon. Could be a storm coming. Check it out, sea berries. Let's stop the boat and get out the net. Uh, how about a hand with the anchor? Mm, how about two? Anchors away! Today. We sure did. Shiver me timbers. We'd better head back. A storm like that can move fast. Uh-oh. Hmm. Oh, dear. We've got to get back to shore. Whoa. Whoa. Give me a hand with the anchor. We better get back to shore. And I think I have an idea. When the berries are moved here, it moves this wire there, which will make this rope here pull the net up into this tree there. And this alarm will wake us up. This time we won't sleep through anything. <sighs> Trap! It worked! We finally caught it! Whatever it is. Watch yourself. It might be dangerous. It might bite. Or claw. Or breathe fire. Or something absolutely awful. Or 
maybe it's no monster at all. I'm going to let it down. Strawberry, no! <gasps> A mermaid! Where? Where? Oh, oh my. You're not a mermaid. <laughs> I never said I was. You're a girl. I never said I wasn't. I'm Strawberry Shortcake. This is Coco Calypso, Blueberry Muffin, and Rainbow Sherbert. I'm Seaberry Delight. I live in the lagoon. Hey, how'd that get there? That's our anchor. I thought you might need it. You mean you cut the rope? Well, you looked like you were in trouble. I was out on the rocks when I saw the storm coming in. I saw you were stuck, so I dove in the water. That's when I saw that your anchor was caught in a rock. I swam right home to get something to cut with. You see, you have to swim to get to my house. It's the only way in. My house is hidden from above, so I'm safe from storms. I went right back and cut your anchor rope. I hope you don't mind. Mind? You saved our lives! You live in the lagoon? Yep. But how come I've never seen you? I've sort of kept to myself. I guess I'm no good at making friends. During the day, I take care of the sea berry plants and gather the berries when they're ripe. I use them to feed myself and my friends. My favorites are the sea sweeties. They're about the cutest creatures in all the sea. But then one day, the sea berries began disappearing. I had to do something. My friends were hungry. Oh no! I thought you were stealing them from me, but I was stealing them from you. Coco was taking the sea berries to make sea berry treats. Would you like to try one? Mmm! Oh, they're very licious. But I guess I won't be able to make any more. I have a very good idea. Maybe Coco could take a few berries less and share the treats she makes with the sea sweeties. What do you think, sea berry delight? I just know the sea sweeties will love these wonderful treats. And what's more, Seaberry, you can be a friend to Coco, and Coco can be a friend to you. Hooray! Yay! Yes! Hooray! <laughs> Hooray! Life is sweet on the Seaberry shore. It's so much sweeter than ever before. In the sugar white sand where I once walked alone, there's a new pair of footprints next to my own. And a change has begun. more with a friend. When you say things like places you love, the sand at your feet or the stars up above, the sand feels softer, the stars are more bright, and the whole place feels just righter than right. There's a warmth in the air and a hug in the breeze that wouldn't be there if it wasn't for these new footprints beside me here on the shore. Somehow a friend makes it all mean so much more. A friend you can call. A friend Shore. Friendships is sugar, sweet treat, and it's more. It's somewhere to count out, it's something to make. It's somewhere to run when you're needing a break. You'll see troubles fade, and you'll have a new view. Everything's made so much better by two. The tropical beat on the sea berry shore. You know a friend makes it all mean so much more. <laughs>